Uh, so this is a video, uh, I guess we could call it revision, revision of linear equations. Uh, you've done this in year 9, so I'm not going to run through all of it really slowly. We're going to run through it really quickly. Now, first of all, uh, a linear equation can be expressed in three different ways. First of all, you can express it as an equation, y equals uh, 3x plus 2. So you could express it that way. Uh, you could express it as a table, and you guys would have done your fair share of tables, an x and a y there, and then you fill out uh, something like that. Now, the third way that it can be expressed is as a graph on a Cartesian plane. Uh, something like this. Okay, so there's our three different ways of expressing a linear equation. Now, you should also remember that the general form, the general form, can be written as y equals mx plus c, where m and c are numbers of some sort. Uh, let's take a look. You can see I've got an M slider here and a C slider here. Uh, now, if I type Y equals MX plus C, I'll get a function that looks like this. And you should recall that M, so this is the function Y equals MX plus C. Now, watch this function here. As I change the M value, the function changes, both the equation here, but also the steepness of this line. So M controls the gradient. If M is negative, it slopes downwards. If um, M is positive, it slopes upwards. And you should also remember that C is the y-intercept. If you watch me move C, our function moves up along the... Sorry, if you watch me move C, if we move it up, it moves up along here. If we move it down, it moves down along here, something like this. Okay, so that's Y equals MX plus C. Now you should also remember that to find the gradient, you can use a couple of things. You can use rise over run, or you can use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is the same thing. Um, now the gradient looks something like this. Now again, m equals rise over run, or m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now this is all revision, so I'm not doing this... I'm not doing examples. Now I've written here, what should you be able to do? Well, right now you should be able to do a couple of things. You should be able to look at any line and you should be able to pretty quickly come up with what the gradient is. That's really easy. Uh, so you should be able to find M. Whether it's in this form or whether it's in this form or even whether it's in this form, you should be able to find M. That's number one. Uh, you should also be able to find C. Now that's even e easier. Remember C is the y-intercept. Remember that's the gradient. So you should be able to find C. You should be able to find C from an equation. You should be able to find C from this. And you should be able to find C right there. That's pretty straightforward. This is where things get a little more complicated now. Now you should be able to find the equation from a graph. So in other words, you should be able to look at any line whatsoever. doesn't matter what that line looks like. You should be able to look at whatever line that is, and as long as you know a couple of points on that line, or you know the y-intercept in one point, or you know a point and a gradient, you know a bunch of stuff, you should be able to figure out what the equation is. What else should you be able to do? Well, you should be able to go reverse to that. So if I give you equation, give an equation, graph it. So I should be able to give you an equation something like y equals 5x minus 2 and you should be able to create a graphical representation of that. And you should be able to create that by putting one point here, one point here and drawing a line through there. You've learnt all of this. This is stuff that you've done last year and previous years. Now after this video is over, um, make sure that you have taken notes. I know that this looks like a bit of a mess but you need, to have, you need to understand that there are three ways to represent these things. You need to understand what a gradient is, what M is, what C is, uh, and you need to have an understanding of where we're heading next. Uh, there are future videos which will show you how to find the equation from a graph, in case you've forgotten, and also how to uh, find an equation given it.
Um, one last thing before I go. There are a couple of other things that you should be able to do. You should be able to find the midpoint between two points because you learnt it last year. You should also be able to find the distance between two points because you learnt it last year. Now, I'm not going to cover that in depth in class or even in our videos, but if you've forgotten how to do it, I will provide you guys some videos you can take a look. Okay, uh, that's some revision of linear equations really quick.